Ooh, Halloween. Uh, so I'm making a little round the pole project for Halloween. A witch on a broomstick. Uh, the plan um, I downloaded from Outer Zone and it was designed by a guy called Frank Scott back in the 70s. This one was for control line and uh, obviously I'm going to make it around the pole. I might even make it uh, I'll stick a rudder on it. I don't know if it'll turn for um, a bit of better control free flight as it were. So, so far what I've done, I'll let you have a look. I've cut out the wing, which is, that's half of it, is I'm making the whole thing out of this uh, one millimeter depth one. And the wing is the cloak. The body, it's obviously a body. <laughs> a little hat on the top, which I've slipped on. It was originally made out of quarter inch balsa and eighth inch wings and stuff, because it obviously had a little motor on the front, but mine's electric. Um, the cloak fits in there. I might have to put some outriggers on it for stability because obviously it's not got much. It's going to flop about. So that sits on a broomstick, which is one I prepared earlier, uh, which is an old model, which I've butchered. Um, it's going to have an undercarriage. That'll drop on there. Got the little uh, block on it, and I'm going to use this little geared motor, which is uh, turns quite a big prop actually, but does it very well. Tiny little motor, I'll glue that on the front. And um, what else have we got? Oh, yes, the tail here, which I've just glued up. It's a set that will go up there. This is because this is the brush which is sitting on a brush. This is the uh, the bristles. And then I'll hinge the elevator there. And then there's another little bit of broom which goes on the bottom. <laughs> and that looked great. And she's got a couple of arms that she can hold on to, originally designed to hold on to handlebars, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. And then there's this lovely little piece here, which is little pussy cat which goes on the back here riding on the broomstick behind her which I might also use the tail to support the back of the cloak stroke wing um, that's it really that's the and I haven't got much time to do it um, done a test uh, piece uh, using acrylic paints these are basically the colours I'm going to use. It's funny, the green still feels tacky. This is probably two or three days ago. The red and the black are dried up, but that's just a little bit of... I mean, it's, it's dry, but it's, it's got a grip to it. Anyway, there's some of the colours. The acrylic paint went on really nicely, so I'm happy with that. I might put a little bit of dihedral in there anyway, just to... just because it just looks better and then it just looks more of a I can imagine seeing her come cackling past in the night sky I'm just fixing up glued the tail feathers onto this you see that and oops can you see it there you go that's drying got the control horns in glued on the undercarriage and now I'm just putting a couple of bits of carbon up the side of the uh, witch and the cat because it's rather flexible and I don't think it's going to survive flight. So what I'm going to do, I've got some bit of broken carbon tube in here and so I've saved it because it's just carbon's just useful stuff to uh, to add to anything like this, exactly like this. Right, now it's got to go about, we go from the neck area 
down to the leg area where it glues onto the uh, finish my sentence in a minute glues onto the fuselage or broomstick in this case okay we'll let that set that will give that the strength it needs to um, provide support for the cloak when it's um, nicely painted we'll come back and start gluing it together and it's going to look really fantastic Ooh. 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 All right, I've got the components painted. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, <coughs> excuse me. Pussy cat. Oh, little face. And the arms and the cloak. Look at that. Red on the bottom. As the instructions for the uh, right up for this model said what self-respect in which wouldn't have a silk lined cloak I've connected up the control surfaces they work well so now I'm going to stick on the witch that's going to go I've decided there to there cloak on next then the outriggers and the cat. I've made a couple of alterations to it. I put a piece of one mil a carbon rod down the lead and edge basically of each side of the cloak. I've also put two little supports either side of the neck for the uh, you see that for the cloak to glue onto and now I'm going to put the cat in put the cat that's going to go glued onto the side and then I'm going to make a hole in the cloak for the tail to poke through then I'll put the outriggers on because it's going to need them I've glued the arms in place and I've made a little uh, upstand for her to hold on to and I'm just using these magnets either side of the foam just to hold just to hold it together pinch it together so cats on wedges are on arms are on ready to mount the um, cloak now. I've put these outriggers on. They stiffened it up nicely, just a bit of epoxy from tip to fuselage, broom. Put a little skiddy bit on the end of the tail skid just to stop it catching in things. I've also added a wire hook, two wire hooks actually, to be the line guide that takes it down to the pole so that should be pretty much sorted now okay so we've bound it up and here's the controls working we got elevator and little rudder I was going to move that onto the inner horn actually just to increase that throw a little bit and throttle Quite a draft actually. I think you'll agree guys, that's uh, quite a successful model. It just remains uh, to fly it on a maiden flight around the pole and then maybe just for a bit of fun I'll try launching it, see if it um, actually flies free flight. So thanks for watching, um, hit the little like button down below and hopefully it won't be too long before I can get this one in the air. I might miss Halloween. Uh, the weather's against me at the moment, but we'll see how we get on. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.